In Soviet Russia, Nong Hayes you. Welcome to Comedy <laughs> Bang Bang. <laughs> hey! Hey-o. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang for another edition. Uh, thank you to Colfax McLiverneck for that wonderful catchphrase submission. Colfax Mc- McLiverneck uh, starting to be a catchphrase superstar. Oh, Reserved really? Reserved only for a, a seldom few. Do you uh, go to the same people often? Well, you know what? I go to whatever. I don't look at the person uh, before I decide. Oh, you don't uh, look I, at the name? No, I don't look at the name. I decide on it, and then I, uh, I say, oh, that's a good one. And then I look at the name, and I say, oh, it's by that person who's uh, been doing it a Is lot there somebody who by far has the most? Is there, comp- is there competition amongst the listeners? By far sounds like Klinger's autobiography. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think <laughs> moving on from this discussion, <laughs> what we need to do is introduce ourselves. Uh, I am Scott Aukerman, uh, your uh, wonderful, wonderful host, uh, been host this for nigh upon eight years. I honestly, our uh, anniversary uh, coming right up. Uh, eight year anniversary. Can wow, you believe congratulations. it? Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, I am Jason Manzuka's co host for the last um, four years, <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> In a random <clears throat> spotty. Uh, amount of episodes, yep. certainly. Uh, but uh, uh, official co-host and nope. a future host of the show. <laughs> Possibly. Do you, I mean, and this, uh, Jason Manzoukas, we all know from How Did This Get Made, and he plays uh, uh, Rafi or something. That's Wh- true. Who do you play? I play Ralphie on the- <laughs> Ralphie. I King play, Ralph. <laughs> I play King Ralph <laughs> in the King Ralph prequel Saga. series. <laughs> Pre-cum series. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Nobody enjoyed that more than you. <laughs> Look at you. Your face is red. Uh, you are have, having a you're like I have to be honest. Blast. I have to be honest with you. I'm contorting my mouth uh, <laughs> a certain way because I you may have noticed this thing on my lip. Uh, my breakfast exploded in my face <laughs> 5 what? days ago. I I uh, I had a uh, uh, it's it said the thing said egg and bacon muffin. Okay. Looks just like a regular muffin. I heat it up in the microwave. This I, is in your home? This is in my home. Okay. I bite into it. I hear a loud pop. Oh, no. It explodes on my face, <laughs> burning my face. Really? Yes. I didn't so, even notice. Okay. So, uh, in, in any case, so my my words are coming out a little bit differently because it's it's on the it's on the uh, the tail end of of being healed. Wow! Look, check it out. Do you see it? I uh-huh. I, I don't want to take I don't want Kevin to creep in here and take any pictures of this. Okay. By the way, I know what he's into. Uh, anyway, creepy so I, mouth wound. <laughs> Creepy mouth wound tumblers. Um, wow. Can we okay. take that whole breakfast thing again real quick? Uh, uh, oh, no. Gino, Why? Is it, are not, we not rolling? I'm not positive. Uh, I was just, just unplugging and plugging in some stuff over here. <laughs> I hope Why? you're positive. <laughs> Why? Oh, I'm positive. For three things, but not the big ones. Don't worry. <laughs> None of the ones that start with H. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Gino, our intern, uh, uh, he's here with us today. Uh, I'm so excited. Thanks for having me. I, I really ever get to meet uh, Mr. Zooks over here. So it's, yeah, uh, it's I know. Nice you haven't been on the show with, with Zooks. Uh, Christmas uh, holiday uh, episode. Was that the only one? Yes. And maybe uh, some maybe stuff behind lo- the paywall. Yeah. Well, if, if you hey, would maybe ch- if you are a Howell <laughs> Premium subscriber. If you got the loot, maybe I heard it before. <laughs> this one's for you free schmucks. <laughs> <laughs> Open up your fucking pockets. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Uh, what, what is it? A measly $1,400 a month? <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Look, if you would show up more often, you would do them with, with Zooks over here. You're supposed to be here every single episode, Gino. Yeah, well, there's something we need to talk about about that because I really, just did my happened? taxes. Okay. <laughs> and I my expenses are through the roof. My gas, <laughs> yes! My gas expenses are through the roof. The, my, my accountant's like, how many times do you drive across the country? Well, the commute has <laughs> got to be killing it's you. It's killing me. The br- to get from a fucking Nassau County just to get on the I-95 is brutal. You signed up <laughs> for this. You, you're the one who 
asked for the job. We we get, gave it to you based upon your qualifications. We have no other interns other than you. Wampler has been MIA for years yeah, I now. I worry about her. I don't know what is happening She seems her. to she have might, disappeared. Yeah, yeah, she might have gotten, uh, what's it called, where you reconstruct your body from a pear into a more human shape? Oh, I feel like full she, body reconstruction? Yeah, I think she was doing one of those where they yeah. put you in a tube and like melt certain parts <laughs> of you and stuff like that. <laughs> Do they so, put you in like a, a cylindrical tube? Yeah, it's like a big or, long tube filled with- You think with, she's a tube person now? <laughs> You think they would like have little sort of domes for the boobs so those could grow out? Oh, uh, I didn't even think of that. Tube, tube domes? <laughs> yeah, tube domes. Ooh, check out the tube domes on that, bro. That's, you know, where the expression boob tube came from. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> if I don't know that, I don't know that. <laughs> uh, Gino, welcome. Gino Lombardo? Yes, that Gino, is correct. It's Gino Vanni, I believe. Gino Vanni, yes. Gino, Gino is short for Gino Vanni. Gino Vanni, yeah. That's what they cut it at Ellis Island. From, yep. uh, oh, did you go through Ellis Island? Yeah, on a field trip in fourth grade. <laughs> and they changed your name. Yeah, and they were like, I'm, hi, I'm Gino Vanni. They're like, it's Gino. Welcome to America. And shoved me down the fucking, they shoved me down the entire flight of stairs in the torch. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that is quite a few steps. Oh, it was a lot. Wow. Uh, you're back. You're from Long Island and you commute out here every, uh, yeah. I'm just catching Jason up on, oh, on all Oh, I'm familiar. I, I, of course, I, I know Gino just from, you know, he's a, a bit around as an intern. Yeah. Sure. Well, yeah. Some episodes you are here and you're not even on mic. I know. Well, I'm talking the whole time, but you don't let me sit at the table. <laughs> Right, yeah. which is fair. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. You're here a lot. More. It's like how uh, Reggie Watts used to sing the Comedy Bang Bang theme song live. Right. Uh, and then you're, have to run out every yeah, time. Yeah, you're here a lot. Stuff. Yeah, oh, I'm here a lot. I'm uh, Obviously, I'm working. I'm not just a Comedy Bang Bang intern. I'm an Earwolf intern, so sure. I'm doing a lot of stuff. I'm, yeah. you, you guys got me out on the corner of Sunset selling uh, socks, selling <laughs> yep. uh, who charted socks. <laughs> cool up your yep. socks. Yeah. And what do you do for Katie Couric? Anything? Uh, she doesn't need any help because I'm always in there, and she just makes me do stuff like take my shirt off and spin around in a circle for her and just like yeah kind of eyeball me and stuff I think she's into like skinny she's goats. into super yeah but speaking of a, 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 a tube by the way you look like you've been through uh, yeah a, a lot of people call me Johnny pipe cleaners and I'm like my name's Gino and they're like it just works better if you say Johnny first and I'm right, like well yeah. Gino pipe cleaners work and I, well, let's not get into the semantical argument I have yeah, with a lot them, of my arguments. bagel guy <laughs> your bagel yeah. guy yeah. He's, Ron, he's the guy you, Ronnie at Bagel Town Cafe this motherfucker is <laughs> in your grill when you're trying to say scooped out with chicken salad He's like, scoop it out. Come on, you weigh nothing. I'm like, I don't eat carbs. I'm looking for protein. You know, it's, we don't have to get into it. Are you paleo? I'm going full paleo. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I eat honey exclusively out of beehives now, and <laughs> it's like killing me. Winnie the Pooh style. Yeah, that my explains face, a lot of. Yeah, the, my face is pretty. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty swollen, rocky dentist yeah. up over here. Did, have you ever gotten stuck in like a hole like Winnie the Pooh did, uh, trying to get some honey? <laughs> stuck in a hole? Wasn't he famously stuck in a honey pot? Oh, it was it a honey pot? I forget. I believe, he was yeah. like. Because there's not a lot of honey in holes. I thought that he went into <laughs> if a hole. You know hole. what I mean? <laughs> Come he's on. not in the you're hole. Looking. <laughs> hey, you're looking. You're, you're checking. You're checking all rogue holes for honey. I'm like, I'm I'm in there just fa- playing a little game. I like to call find the honey. <laughs> uh, I thought he got stuck in like he he was trying to get a honey pot. I don't. Know. I think Who that cares? too. Is that yeah, I'm else? sure the guy gets know. stuck. Hey, in he everything. was dumb. He was yeah. dumb. Winnie the Pooh was dumb. He was uh, a dumb Gino, fucking is that man. also why you're only wearing a top and no pants? Yes, because I. You're going full Winnie the Pooh. I'm I'm pretty sure paleo means you live <laughs> as Winnie the Pooh lived. Pulio? <laughs> I'm, I'm going You're going Pulio? Pulio. Yeah. <laughs> I am hanging around with a nine-year-old boy named Christopher. I think a lot that's, of weird looks. I, gotta, think that's I think appropriate. I should get pants. <laughs> And a donkey and a tiger. <laughs> I have such a long, thin dick that not a lot of people even see it. Like you know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's almost like two dimensional. <laughs> yes, you, it's like uh, fruit by the foot. <laughs> is your dick like? Do you feel like your dick is bigger in circumference than a pencil? Um, yeah, when erect, yes, yes but not okay. when, when soft. No, it's of very twizzler. We want to welcome our female listeners. <laughs> By welcome back. What's up, sweethearts? <laughs> oh, come on. Welcome Whip them back out. To Get talk, you right out. Talking dicks. <laughs> by the way, Jason, yeah. uh, getting a lot of requests for the first episode of Talking Tang. Oh, it's on its way. Don't you it's worry. It's on its way? It's What's on happening? its way. Don't you worry, <laughs> listeners. Is that why you have astronauts come on and talk about drinks? Oh, yep. We, uh, yes. How about the drinks they drink in space? <laughs> we just lost one, by the way. So, <laughs> oh, uh, did you we? Better, yeah, you better. Uh, didn't we lose an astronaut recently, about a month ago or six they weeks ago? They found him. Oh, yeah. Oh, found really? <laughs> Where was he? He was just in uh, the new he was, he was <laughs> <laughs> he they were the, looking in the wrong sphere. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yep, yep. They were looking in Atmos. Yeah, and I'm like, sorry, better check Tropo. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, talking tang, dripping talk milk. Talking tank. Oh yeah, we're, we're guys. 
I'm still asking. I want more, more images. Yeah, more, more cat. How are people more, supposed to send them to you? You're not on Twitter, my just dear boy. Just send them to at Scott Ackerman. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want any, The any dirtier weird, oh, and the more God. sexually explicit. Please don't the better. turn my feed into. <laughs> just send them right to Scotty uh, Ox. Oh God, please no. <laughs> uh, and what is the podcast going to be about? You're going to talk about your sexual experiences. Yeah, I think it's just me. You know, talking. Will you name names. Yeah, oh, I'll name names. Yeah. Is this and like guys? Be we, guys we fucked or yep, whatever. There's yeah. going to be a segment called Smell My Finger. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. Let <laughs> me know if you need a guy to just talk instead of doing any work on sure. the podcast. Well, yeah. I'll definitely need you to be manning the boards. Oh, yeah. I'll be on the boards. How are those boards, by the way? What's going on with hot, them right now? Very hot. <laughs> they were like literally hot. Yeah, I, spilled hot? Two, I spilled two full coffees on them. <laughs> oh, no. Two venti hot espressos. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you getting two venti espressos? Because I got a lot of work to do today, all right? I got to go over to Yo Is This Racist after this and <laughs> clean up some sort of mess they made in there. What, what kind of mess would Yo Is This Racist be? <laughs> I don't know, but that sounds racist. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm in uh, problematic territory <laughs> even just talking about a podcast like that. <laughs> You know, the culture now, you, it's just landmine after landmine. you got to be oh, careful where you're yeah, going. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's uh, it's a lot like going to Laos. Just, you know, you got to be careful uh, upon where you tread. I know exactly what you're referencing because mm -hmm. I also saw that on social media <laughs> right. today. I don't. Um, uh, they have a lot of uh, landmines there. Unexploded ordinance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The US, U.S. dropped a lot of bombs there, left them there. Got it. Mm -hmm. I see. Not cool. <laughs> no bueno, which is not Laotian. I understand. Yeah, that. <laughs> thank you. Um, and uh, uh, have you ever been to Long Island, Jason? I have, yes. I don't think I've ever actually stepped foot there. Oh, I've been well, to Long I Island. I lived in guys. New York for a long time, so there was plenty of Long Island what action. Would you, what would you do there? I don't know. I mean, mostly, truthfully, uh, I really only went to, like, the Hamptons-y kind of mm, area Montauk, of it. Montauk, Hamptons. Yeah. That's a good vacation spot. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I grew well, up going to Ditch Plains, which is a little beach on uh, Montauk. Nice. But now it's all fucking rich white people fucking it up for the rest of us. When it, before it used to be poor white people? Yes, at least it was poor white people. You can go down to Gossman's Dock and get a nice fish fry for $7. Ooh, so, that's not bad. Yeah, now these motherfuckers are in there turning everything into one oak. <laughs> Ten oak? I, don't, I have I think no it's idea. One oak. I think it's I think one oak, right. but it looks it's like ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. because of the O and oak. Ah, that's maybe it. O and oak. It's maybe it's ten, 10 K. A. It's ten. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ten AK is it's like a terrorist thing. Oh, uh -oh. oh yeah. boy, insurgents. Stay, yeah, let's stay away from that. Yeah, let's <laughs> please not <laughs> yeah, again. Really, I got it. That's why I'm staying away from one oak. <laughs> I'm on a handful of watch lists. I don't need to be on any more. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I, I got to stop going on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> you saying just a lot of stuff on Reddit unhinged? Yeah, I'm just out there. I'm on. P I'm I'm scared of this pizza thing. <laughs> Wait, which, Wait, pizza which pizza the thing where if you eat a pizza, you get accused of pedophilia or something like well, that? I don't think you've understood it correctly. Yeah. <laughs> no, is that no. not what? But considering who is? you're hanging around with, I think you should be accused. <laughs> <laughs> I think Good old Christopher Robin. I think if it's you and some nine year old, yeah, kid me and a nine year old cartoon pizza, boy eating pizza, that's together. actually a bigger problem. Oh, okay. that's well, the problem. Is that what I'm getting? That's at? not PizzaGate. Oh, okay. Because I've been, I've been screaming, "Call me at me, bro." <laughs> 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 oh no! Uh, uh, what did Gino? Do you have any political leanings? I mean, I don't know. Oh yeah, they. It's a, a legit pendulum. I vacillate rapidly, oscillate and vacillate mm -hmm. back and huh. forth between. Oscillate huge wildly. Uh, yeah, you know we all know Morrissey's uh, Oscar Wilde tribute. Oh please, we all do, especially <laughs> us twenty-seven-year-old <laughs> Billy Joel heads. <laughs> What's your favorite Billy Joel song of all time? Would you say my favorite Billy Joel song of all time is hands down Down East or Alexa. Okay. You well, hands down Easter Alexa. What, and what is your favorite Billy Joel song, not of all time, but from down Easter Alexa on? Um, poo, I don't know. All the way. So uh, just break it down. <laughs> from down, Go. from down Easter Alexa to the present. <laughs> what is, well, oh, wait. What is your least favorite? Um, River of Dreams. Rank In them the all. In the middle now. of the night. That, show, that song is terrible. I go walking. I go walking. I like it. I love that song. So uh, that's your least favorite of all time, but, but I still you love, love it because that's Billy Joel, baby. So you're just measuring on a gradient that is love to love. Yeah, it's from mm -hmm. love to mega love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm a mega love with uh, Down Easter Alexa and the when the lights go out on Broadway and moving. Oh out yeah, 2017. Those. This is this year. Wait, Holy did, shit! Did you, did you go to Miami by the way for New Year's Eve to see <laughs> Billy Joel play it? I did not. No, I can't get down to Miami. I have my car has got a shit ton of miles on it from driving <laughs> back and forth from. <laughs> 
Where what do you drive? Uh, I drive uh, now. I'm in a Honda Civic, but oh, great. It, yeah, yeah, but I got it. Uh, I got uh, NOS in it. You know, I got nitrogen. Sure, in you it. got you oh. got those uh, to try to get here as fast as possible. Yeah, because <laughs> I live my life one quarter mile at a time. <laughs> oh, certainly. <laughs> Is family the most important thing to you? Family. <laughs> yeah, I love family. Did you see that movie by the way that just came out? The new uh, Furious movie. Uh, a fate it has of not the come, Furious. It has not come out. Yet. Yes, it has. It, it has because today is April 24th. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I knew it. I just, told you I wouldn't do it. I told you I would forget. <laughs> you don't remember just four days ago, we were all super stoned celebrating Hitler's birthday. <laughs> Oh, oh, and we covered it on how did this get made? How did I forget that? <laughs> right, right, of course. Uh, but and now, and you can hear that. A now uh, famous episode. Yeah, yeah. Uh, infamous, we Huge. should say. I wish I would have interned. Who was on that one? Adam Scott. Oh, okay. Yep. Love it. From Torque. Mm-hmm. Yes, oh, yeah. exactly. Do you mean Torx. Adam Quadrero? <laughs> Do you was remember that his that? name? That was, he was going to change his name to that when he got into show business. <laughs> no. Yeah. He was considering changing his name to Adam Quadrero. Oh, my God. To that's, try to go ethnic? That's yeah. smart in 2017. Because <laughs> yeah, if you want to get genius. No, this is in the 90s. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, that's a bad idea. That's, that's a bad what, call. That was still white it, privilege back then. And he <laughs> yeah. changed it to Scott instead? I think his name actually is Adam Scott. Maybe. Oh, okay. I don't even know. I think you're speaking out of turn. I don't think this guy needs his aliases ratted out on live on whatever this <laughs> yeah, radio station is. Sorry, yeah. Is, he is this the, raw dog comedy? Is he on the knock list? <laughs> He's on the knock list from fucking Mission Impossible? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cut, from real life. Oh, is it a real list? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought only Ethan Hunt was seeking that list out. <laughs> toast. Toast. Remember when Ving Rhames said toast? <laughs> what, would it be weird if That's like, my favorite part of any movie. On the, on the really? <laughs> of every movie total is when Ving Rhames says toast. <laughs> Love it. He says it like three times. Yeah. It's really good. Wouldn't Rule of threes. threes. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if in the next Mission Impossible film, <laughs> Ethan Hunt introduced his brother, Mike? <laughs> like, this is my brother, Mike. <laughs> and just without comment, no one ever and Gene Renoir is like, Mike Hunt? <laughs> <laughs> and he holds up a cunt in a jar, and he's like, no, I was referring to this. My cunt. My cunt. <laughs> Not I, you, uh, my cunt. <laughs> anyway, welcome back, ladies. <laughs> Pre-cum. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, sorry I had a weird breakfast. Now I say pre-cum <laughs> randomly. <laughs> I'm worried that if you just came into the room or uh, into this podcast, you won't know what welcome, we're talking about. Welcome to the room. <laughs> welcome to this the, is the room, room where it happened. Podcast. Yes. Oh. Are you a big Hamlehead? Uh, no, uh, I'm so tired of Lin-Manuel Miranda. Oh, really? But you're a big Hamlin head, He's right? He's a nerd. <laughs> is He's he a-, a theater geek, but we all call him like a hip-hop superstar? <laughs> Wait, what is your, wow. what, is your problem with nerds? Bl- I love it. Or with, with theater geeks? I think it's my problem I, is with the cultural appropriation of 50-year-old white rich people <laughs> in New York City now thinking they know hip-hop because they saw Hamilton. Well, wait a minute. You were on the, the first episode of Musical Comma Theater. I'm a huge I'm a huge theater nut. <laughs> semicolon, semicolon. Oh, okay. No, yeah. I was about to say, I didn't do the colon. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is ALW doing other ones without me? This is bullshit. <laughs> His spin-off podcast. Is he with spun a comma. off a spun-off podcast. <laughs> <laughs> a mediumly successful podcast. And I know just you, you Gino, feel this way. Right, me, Gino, feel yeah. this way. Right, yeah, because, yeah. because of the way you grew up. Because the way I grew up, I'm closed-minded, and yeah, exactly. uh, it, I think a lot of things are bullshit, especially yeah. if they're v- very successful. Yeah, we strongly disagree, obviously, Jason and I. Uh, we, we really enjoyed Hamilton. <laughs> yeah. And uh, support Lin Manuel Miranda. I've, only, I've yeah. seen it 20 times Tyler, and I still don't get it. He's a ner- You've seen it 20 times? I still don't how do you, get it. How Wait. do you keep getting tickets? <laughs> yeah, how do you are get you in? in? Uh, are you, uh, I'm always out the. I You're can, in the lottery? Well, I could split a seat with someone because I'm so thin. So oh, I, I see. often I'll stand outside when You'll the skinniest person's person. coming out. I'll be like, hey, do you want to mind splitting a seat? I'll give you half the money. So it's sort of like asking someone to buy you beer yeah, <laughs> when yeah, you're outside a liquor store. It's like asking for a swipe at the train train station <laughs> <laughs> if someone's got that unlimited card you're getting a free ride bro <laughs> oh, i can't fucking wait <laughs> i think you're referring to hey mister which is a little game we used to play in my high school where you stand outside of 7-eleven outside of sebs if you will and you uh-huh. go hey mister right would you like to buy us some beer how and many then, times have you done that in your life i 40. i can count 40 <laughs> how often was it successful like i've done it twice and it was successful both times really mm-hmm. i straight up this is going to sound like i'm talking about a scene a, a deleted scene from super bad but okay. a friend of mine uh who owned the, his family owned the pizzeria your so whole he, life by the way seems like deleted <laughs> scenes from super bad <laughs> by the way that's a show you should do <laughs> <laughs> it should be gina like any scene i would be in super bad would should have been deleted because it's like too offensive right 
Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but go on. Um, someone hey mistered a guy who was formerly a high school Spanish teacher, currently the middle school principal. Oh. <laughs> it was oh, like, hey, yeah. mister. And we were like literally in the back no! going, no, it's they on. And asked Mr. G, who was the element. <laughs> G-E-E? Or? Uh, no, Mr. Giordano. But Giordano. they called him Mr. G. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And he was a. I g- should call you Mr. G, by the way. I would love that. But you can call me Mr. L because my name is <laughs> right. Mr. Yeah. Lombardo. Why, why not? Why? A Gino. Oh, because a Gino. Oh, right. You, dumb shit. you don't call <laughs> someone. Your name? You don't call someone Mr. G, Mr. G, the initial of their first name. I Unless they're like an Asian character from like a 50s movie. Mm-hmm. I get Sorry, it. Sorry, Mr. Scott. You know, they say <laughs> yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, so go on. Then so it was just. The story uh, certainly doesn't end there. No, um, oh, well, it did, but I can tag something real quick. <laughs> sure. uh, Mr. G goes. Make it good, too. I'm sorry, Michael, <laughs> but you might not remember me, but I <laughs> taught at your high school last year. Wow. He's like, oh, he's like. And I'm calling your parents. Oh, and it was no. like, oh. And then he said he wouldn't if we laughed and all that, but we had to like. If, if you, you laughed? laughed? If we laughed. And we all jinx. turned laughing. like a joke. Robert said? Durst the Jinx. <laughs> Did I, I meant to say left, but we also uh, had to laugh. He made us laugh. <laughs> he tickled all He's of us. He's like, I'm going to call your parents unless you hear my stand up and laugh. <laughs> yeah. And then he did like 45 minutes. He did 45 minutes, and 15 of it was on like uh, how uncomfortable flights are. And we're right, like, yeah. we get it. And comics, the rest you fly work. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. It was I, he read a lot of jokes from his Twitter feed and they were all like at <laughs> Wait, Delta. He, he was he was on Twitter. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he was. When re- was this? This was the early <laughs> to mid two thousand. Well, yeah, you're only twenty. <laughs> I was only in high school, and I was in high school until I was twenty one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. because I was uh, kept red shirting so I could try to play volleyball. Yeah, and they they wouldn't hold you back, right? They added grades for you. Yeah, they added grades. I was in fifteenth grade when I graduated. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> what did they call it? I know we have you know freshman, sophomore, it, it junior, was, senior. Uh, magna cum senior. <laughs> <laughs> magna pre cum senior. Oh, hey, hello, hey, threes. Calling it back. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Scotty Ox getting that pre-cum in there. <laughs> come on. All right. Come on, that pre-cum. <laughs> okay, we're all hooked up now. We're ready to record. Okay, we're so. ready to Wait, go. Are we, we haven't been recording? No, so we could just, whenever you're ready, do the whole thing. Okay, oh, well, wait. hopefully we have a secondary recording, because I thought some of that was good. Let's uh, We'll try to put it out. But we do have to take a break. Oh, thank God. Uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> You've been pacing around the room, by the way. No, I'm sorry. I'm making sure all these mics work. All yeah. of these mics. Okay. All of these mics. Uh, we need to take a break. Uh, Jason, can you stay Stick around, or do you have to leave? Of course, I can stick around. I'm the co-host of this goddamn show. Uh, the whole thing will fall ask apart God if to I leave. Damn this show! Ooh, wow. ouch! Live wire. Wow. Yeah, God loves this show, oh, and He God loves that. you, Jason. <laughs> Is He mad at you? <laughs> That's just, why He's not too fond of me. Egg sandwich to explode on your face. Oh my God! <laughs> An egg surgency. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to take a break. When we come back, I egg D. <laughs> what? An improvised uh, explosive device. <laughs> okay. When we come back, we'll have more comedy bang bang after this. Uh, All right, roll commercials. <laughs> hey, Jim. Halloween's coming up. Do you know any scary songs? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, Pat. Um, the scariest song I know is dun 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 dun. dun. Here comes the bride, Jim. What are you talking about? Well, um, Pat, that song sends a shiver down my spine because of the connotations of the fact that I need to rent a tuxedo. <laughs> Jim and Pat, hold on, guys. I know that you're having the world's most interesting conversation, but this is Scott Ackerman here. Let me interject for just a moment. You no longer, and men round the country no longer, need to fear the melodious strains of Here Comes the Bride. Because looking great for a wedding or a special event has never been easier with the theblacktux.com. That's right. The blacktux.com. They have high quality rental suits and tuxedos delivered to your doorstep. The Black Tux is giving guys a new way to rent. Mm Mm-hmm. Get this. There's more good news. You thought maybe the ad would just stop there after I gave you the most basic information? No, no, no. The Black Tux offers free home try-on so you can see the fit, feel the quality of your suit before your event. The best part, it's done completely online. No trips to that stupid tux shop required. The blacktux.com lets you create your look or choose from tons, 2,000 pounds worth, one would say, of stylist-selected outfits starting at just 
$95. And these suits have a modern fit, okay? These aren't junky tuxes. This isn't the junkyblacktux.com. Although, I think they should get that domain name from Squarespace because it's pretty good. This is the blacktux.com. They have a modern fit. They have, uh, they're made from fine Italian wool, the highest quality on the rental market. And if you have any questions, any issues, theblacktux.com has an expert customer care team that has your back every step of the gosh darn way down that aisle. And if uh, after ordering, and if, maybe I shouldn't have said and if, and just said after ordering, your suit is going to arrive 14 days after your event. That's a full two weeks to try it on, make sure everything fits, everything's snug. If anything is less than perfect, the Black Tux is going to send you a free replacement right away. And when your event's over, just drop your rental back in the mail. Bing, bang, boom, bing, bing, bang, boom. Shipping free both ways. Easy peasy. To get $20 off your purchase, visit theblacktux.com slash bang, bang. That's the Black Tux. Dot com slash bang bang. You're going to get $20 off your first purchase. Jim and uh, Pat, you guys good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. All right, great. That's all I got for you. Bye. <laughs> when you're trying to get from point A to point B, sometimes point C's, D's, and E's, and F's, right? A lot of times, all of your energy is just simply spent on making it there. You know, it's hard enough. It can be hard enough to get to a place by the time you need to get to it these days. But when you think about it, the journey itself matters too. Why should flying to a place be boring the entire way like it was when I grew up? When I grew up, you had to bring a book. On a plane. Otherwise, you just sat there and stared at each other. Yeah, it sounds terrible. But this is why Delta offers every type of entertainment for every passenger free with Delta Studio. Delta Studio grants you access to over 1,000 hours of entertainment, all from your seat back or your own device. And get this, it is 100% free. Choose from podcasts, maybe this podcast, games, maybe this game, television, maybe this television, and up to 300 movies from comedies and dramas to family and thrillers. Sometimes a movie will have all four of those things. Oh, my favorite types of movie, family, thriller, comedy dramas. Delta Studio has tons of new releases and all of your old favorites. You can even get access to HBO, Showtime, 18 channels of live satellite TV on select flights, or listen to your favorite artists with Delta Studios' expensive music library. Delta has also partnered with the likes of HGTV, Refinery29, Food Network, Hulu Originals, WNYC Studios, Curious World, Headspace, Disney XD, to offer you even more great content than you can even handle. And it's all streamable on your laptop, iPhone, iPad, or your Android tabloid device via the GoGo Entertainment app. So buckle up. You have to. Relax. You also have to do that. And delve into another world. You also have to do that. As you soar above, as you soar above the clouds, with endless entertainment from Delta Studio, your journey is sure to, and this is no pun intended, I'm sure, fly by. (laughs) <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. Uh, Gino Lombardo uh, is I'm, here. I'm done talking, Gino but I'm Bonnie. out. Yeah. Okay, you're done talking? Yeah, yeah. yeah you don't sh- need to introduce him like he's a guest. He's just running the board. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, I like to be polite and always uh, introduce whomever is engineering. <laughs> really? I mean, and when by you the way, come back from engi- break? <laughs> engineer Cody Sam is here. He's actually like literally pressing the buttons and stuff. When you yeah. say you're running the boards, what are you doing? I'm all about that treble, no bass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're the anti. <laughs> Very. Megan, Megan McCain? Is that her name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if Megan You know McCain? Gino's got a sickness for the thickness. <laughs> like, you like things that are opposite of you? Oh, yeah. I love a nice, thick woman. Oh, mm-hmm. is that? Yeah, that's your that's your type? Oh, that's my type. Because you're such a skinny pencil ca- yeah. kind of guy? Don't say to a woman that you like her because she's thick, though. They don't like to be called yeah. thick. Really? At least yeah. not yet. It's coming back, though. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, back during the Renaissance, that was how uh, that was our standards of attractiveness were of because course. because it, it showed that they were rich and, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah but I, they had access to all that mm-hmm. luxurious food. Ooh, goat, Plus, they probably had cheese. They had them big floppies. Oh yeah, those big, those big those big them, hangers, them <laughs> heavy hangers, these big natures, big natties. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome again, back. Again, welcome I am back. This is your fault. Listeners. You know who you you're sitting across it. from. I, you started it with pre cum. You're talking to talking. And tang I and the beg most your indulgence. Bisexual this is the w- you have. I, I, I apologize greatly. Uh, and Jason, are you still on Ashley Madison? I am still on Ashley Madison. <laughs> You're not married. What are you doing? On I, there? Well, I'm looking to wreck homes. <laughs> <laughs> Looking some, to just get in there and yeah. destroy some people's lives. I have a very specific fetish where I like to be fucking someone and have them accidentally call me their partner's name. <laughs> right. It's very is difficult this, to arrange. Is this due to your home life growing up with yeah, your different yeah. dads and all that? All, growing up with just a home, in a broken home. Uh, well, And your home my, was literally broken. Yeah, it is. It's like split. physically broken in half. Lightning struck the middle and it opened up. And yeah. now I live in a giant V where you have to leap across a chasm to get from my bedroom to the bathroom. A chasm. A chasm. A chasm. <laughs> That's how you and say I, it. That's how you say it in Long Island. Oh yeah, it's a chasm. You get <laughs> yeah, it. yeah. it's a schism or a chasm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, we have another guest on the show. This is uh, a unique opportunity. I believe the two of you know each other, yeah. actually, Gino. So you can continue to talk during this segment if okay, you like. Okay, that's fine. We know each other. I won't talk because, you know, I'm an intern, but we'll see. Right. The aforementioned uh, podcast, Musical Semicolon Comedy, is... Uh, musical uh, Semicolon Theater. Theater, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Although that's a good spinoff, too. Musical Semicolon Stop Comedy. Stop giving them ideas that don't feature me. <laughs> uh, why? How do you know this wouldn't feature you? Oh, that's fair. It could. It could. I don't know much about Do you comedy. Need to yawn? Sorry, I was directly <laughs> I, I into thought, the microphone. I thought I was going oh, to, and contagious. then I didn't. Oh, that was a contagious. <laughs> my sincerest apologies. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Um, he sincerely apologized. Come some fucking slack. He is the host of that uh, podcast, which I just mentioned. Uh, and uh, That's what he's most famous for. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing else. And he had a birthday about a month ago as well. Uh, he shares a birthday with Stephen Sondheim. And uh, the aforementioned Lin-Manuel Miranda uh, was celebrating it on Twitter as well. Oh, I got to check it out. <laughs> yeah. So please welcome uh, Lord Andrew Lloyd. Weber. Yeah. Yes, hello. Woo. Hello. Scotrick. Yes. Why did you have to mention Stephen Sondheim? Well, I just find it interesting. You uh, are both very accomplished in your certain field of work and you share a birthday. <sighs> yes. One uh, rightfully so accomplished, the other uh, f- accidentally. Uh, just because we share a birthday does, doesn't mean you have to uh, bring it up at every blasted turn. I, I'm so sorry, but I just wonder if there's anything about March 22, 322 that lends you mean 22, 3? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yes, of course. British. <laughs> <laughs> that lends itself to being good at the art of musical semicolon theater. Well, let's see. You have two examples of people who've gone into the theatrical arts. Um, one, very good. One, considered good by some. So I would say the jury's still out, dear boy. Which are you? Which is which? How dare you? <laughs> which one's a lord, but, is what I would say. Hey, 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 Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber, please put away your sword. I don't know which. <laughs> well, why do they give me the blaster thing? <laughs> I cannot hear myself at all. Oh, is that true? I can hear everyone but me. Well, that's very odd. Why don't I you... turn the volume up and there's me. Perhaps you could switch channels or... Uh... Perhaps you could switch channels. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Oh, interesting. Also, so where I come from, we say switching channels. <laughs> <laughs> British. <laughs> is that like the chasm chasm? <laughs> yeah, I should have said Long Island <laughs> after I said chasm. By the way, you're running the boards. Why aren't you helping yeah, him with figure it out? Well, yes, yes, why aren't you helping me? Do you want to hear it in your ears, you said? Do you know something? Fat, please. All right. Are you for real good, though? I don't want to fuck with you. I, <laughs> yeah, does someone need to fuck with this? Do you want me to I actually hear, try? I hear it? everyone quite clearly, but I feel as if I'm... Check, I hear myself. Check. One, two, we check. Hear, we hear you clearly. Oh, yeah. So I, this you must sound be, great. I feel as if I... Do people my, listen my, to this show for for basic mic checks? I think, that, I think do people listen to this show, yeah. question mark. Yeah, and no. yeah. semicolon. That's very good. Thank you. Now, we haven't seen each other in quite some time. I don't think... I'm, I don't know that we've... Ever Ever met? It's. I do believe we have okay, met maybe. in the past. Maybe in a big one. Well, maybe in a group. You may, you may have met someone dressed up like me who wasn't me. Oh, really? They're, they're, oh, wait a minute. Do you mean the janitor? <laughs> yes, that janitor, that custodian. <laughs> yes, what was he? He impersonated deal? me. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mike the janitor. I was, I was hit I on the Mike head the by a chunk of masonry. <laughs> right. This fellow, he put on my my topping hat and my ermine cape and my medal. Oh, the cheek. The very of it. idea. The cheek of it. He has a fascinating life. He's he, a, so full, does a he? full life swap with someone else. Full and, life swap. Life swap. swap. And impersonating you. Like he's he can't live his own life. I would say the life swap part would be the most important thing. I think the impersonating you. I beg to differ. <laughs> um, yeah, he swapped his life with a uh, uh, professor. Who could care? <laughs> Not we I haven't heard from him guy. in a while. Yeah. Good. <laughs> um, and uh, of course, you know Ginovanni yes. over here. Mm, Gino Zavet, what a pleasure to see you again. Good to see you, Andy. Have you, have you guys not seen each other since your <laughs> show, Musical Semicolon Theater, uh, which you can hear on the Howl uh, app? It's, it's been it's quite been a while. while. Yeah, yes. we, we haven't gotten around the recording episode two yet. Because That's right. yeah. What did you discuss on episode one again? Um, we answered musical theater questions from yes. Twitter is what I remember. People, are you familiar with the social networking platform Twitter? Yes, of course. Yes. It's uh, where I go. Oh, my... I'm so sorry. Yes, of course, he says. It's where you go to get notes on each episode, right? right. <laughs> 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 yes, continue, Twitter. Well, we took, we took questions ah. from Twitter. It was like People a Twitter Q&A. Them, and then we were answering them live right on the, right on the air. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Recorded. <laughs> I get I'll it. be uh, downloadable at a later date. Okay. And it was successful. Very. So it, you didn't it? do I'm it again. I'm not positive. <laughs> My guess is no. <laughs> <laughs> it feels, you know. People you know, not clamoring it, for episode two? It feels as if we did that one million years ago. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I remember very little about it. <laughs> I remember. The one thing I do remember is that it was fun. I don't remember if I, I was the only one having fun. I remember <laughs> listening to it. I don't remember the content. <laughs> That's therein. a good sign. That's a very good well, do sign. Well, you know, do you know these things are often, they're made of gossamer. Yes. And they, and they disappear. Into they're the ephemeral. Ether. Are you writing lyrics right ephemeral. now? Ephemeral. Am I? No, because I'm awake. As you know. <laughs> oh, that's right. I do all of my composing in my dreams. <laughs> that's right. Do you, do you, that explains so much. Is there a way to... Yes, my, my musical is very fanciful. Exactly. Can you imagine such a thing as, 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 as a speaking train? <laughs> Do you I s- cannot. Do you sleep right as well? Oh, like literally, do you do you go to sleep with a pencil in your hand and then when you wake up, the lyrics are written there by the bedside table? I do sleep right. That's not what I end up writing. Oh, what do you end up writing? Well, sometimes it's very disturbing. I I, <laughs> I, I look at the I look at the the tablet, the paper tablet next to my uh, you know on my on my nighttime stand. Sure, and you descri- describe your whole bedroom, by the way. Yeah, right? oh, certainly. I'm curious. Paint a picture. It's so. roughly seven times the size of this room. Wow, wow. And we're wow. in a pretty big room. How many for the listeners? How many square feet would you say? Is uh, we talking like uh, feet? What? Oh, uh, I don't meters. Know what that, what that yeah, square, square meters. meters. Square oh, meters. I see. Yeah. Well, the, you see, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a member of the nobility. We don't measure things. Oh, sure. In, in those, how many, terms. how many sword lengths? How many furlongs? It's, it's a king's acre. <laughs> ah, I see. It's a king's acre. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, is there uh, a coat of arms? There's several coats of arms. Mm, great. Can you have more than one? It depends who you know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> when, when you go to be my status, dear boy, when when the queen has has touched you with a sword, she could have killed you she could but have. spared your life. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that what that the whole ceremony is about? Is about oh, yes. sparing the life? She kills like one out of every four guys. It's, just, to, it's just about to the fuck de- with them. Yes, it's about the decision. <laughs> She is permitted to lop off the head of anyone she pleases. 25% of the time, you may be not even leaving that room. That's why Phil Collins won't get knighted. Yeah, he refuses. He thinks she's coming for him. He's trying to set Peter Gabriel up. And do you know, do you know, it drives her crazy. It drives her simply mad. (laughs) Ah, She wants to knight. I I personally, I think she's a fan of Phil. Sure. I think she might have seen Tarzan as as a a drummer. drummer. She doesn't like him as a fronting man. She thinks he should not sing. She thinks thinks that no jacket required was a mistake and that Does he should have kept playing drums. Does she think if she lops off his head, he'll continue to play drums like a chicken? <laughs> Perhaps. Well, do you know, the, the one thing she has against him is that, uh, you know, he was doing a royal command performance. Mm. And when he got to the song In the Air Tonight, <laughs> all of a sudden the spotlight was shining on Her Majesty. <laughs> oh, and he sang it straight to her? He sang it straight oh, to no. her. Oh, wow. He'd seen her drown someone. Oh, wow. That song is she, about the who queen? Who did she drown? <laughs> she drowned Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> wow. Whoa. This is big news. This is huge. This is a huge sploosie. 
I don't know if she's well. well I mean, who one says could, this isn't a new? One can program. be dead for seven or eight minutes. Well, do you and know? Come back to life. Do you know the, the Margaret Thatcher that lived uh, well and? <laughs> Uh, the the twenty first century was not the Margaret Thatcher that was the Prime Minister that ah. was that was of course the Queen drowned Margaret Thatcher oh did installed a, a, a robotic yeah. replacement oh. yeah, a this life, is like a moon, moon an over LMD, parador type a life yes, model decoy it's, t- it's completely a moon over parador situation oh, oh totally <laughs> it's sort of moon over parador crossed with a small uh, robot. <laughs> But I'm not joking. I'm, no, 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 no. Don't. I'm so sorry. I thought you would. I beg your indulgence on this fun matter. Of I was not making fun or even joking about. I. You know, we have a song. There's, a, there's a, there's a famous song that we sing around uh, uh, Christmas time in in England. In England, yes. I think. I, yeah, I think I know it. Please, this Christmas. Don't take the piss out of our robot. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. Well, we have an American version. What? <laughs> the devil you say? Yes, it's sort of like O Tannenbaum and O Christmas Tree. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> That's right. Oh, come all ye faithful and este fideles. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, welcome back all to the I show. All I want for Christmas is you. All I want for Christmas is two in Spain. They do that. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. And Jason, do you have one? I don't. Okay. <laughs> welcome back to the show, uh, Lord Weber. It's so great to see Thank you. Thank you, Scott Rick. It feels as if quite some time since I've it seen It has you. been quite a while. How long would you say? And why haven't you asked me to be on the program I, in all that time? I am so sorry. Who has I, been here in my absence? We've had so many. We've had uh, uh, a gentleman who's a rapper. We've had, uh, yeah. oh, this guy, Big Chunky Bubbles, keeps coming back. <laughs> the entertainer? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I adore him. You do? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> haven't you ever seen his act? No, he just he describes be, it. Be, be, please. He, he makes these... There's no other way to describe it. Big, chunky bubbles. Yes, we know. He's out of soup, stews, and chowders. One, uh. wonder, one wonders when he comes on the show why he doesn't actually make some of them. He's never done that. That sounds He's amazing. just described them. It's a visual medium, dear boy. Why would he? Well, I have eyes. Is that why I had to run out and buy all that chowder the other day? <laughs> No, I think that was a different reason. Oh, okay. That's uh, the Yo Is This Racist guy just slamming <laughs> chowder in his, or in his podcast. Because what, what's better on a hot day than some hot chowder? Oh, yeah. Hot, you, thick clam chowder. Nothing like nuking a can of chowder and then holding it in a glove. Because Comedy can't get Bang super Bang, hot. brought to you by pre cum and chowder. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one, Andrew Lloyd Webber? <laughs> oh, <I'm> s- <laughs> Pre-chowder. <You're> just, pre- <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not immune to the job of <laughs> clam. Cum Getting chowder. A racy with the boys. <laughs> what if before you made it's some chowder, ribbled. there was just like a thinner layer <laughs> of chowder? It was pre-chowder. <laughs> Ooh, all right, that, tell you, that, will, that will do. It's pre-chowder until, and then you add the clams, and then it becomes. And don't get me wrong, there's <laughs> clams in the pre-chowder. Yeah, oh, you got to well, be careful. Depending. You eat the pre-chowder, it <laughs> has clams. Depending on be if careful. You, if, be you careful. Ma- if you made a batch very uh, soon before, then yeah. there, there may be a little clam. Oh, there's definitely still some yeah. clams in there. So yeah. hello, Andrew. Lewis, remember? You, just, not, you don't have more? No, I don't Are have you more. Are you certain? Yeah. No, well, we're I done on keep this. going, but it seems like Scott wants to stop no, talking we're done. about we're it. Done. We're done. We're uh, done. Lord Weber, Sometimes you have to fill the can up with piss to wash all the chowder out. With piss. Sometimes you need to fill the can up with piss. If this is your first time listening, <laughs> yeah. goodbye. Welcome to <laughs> the forever. best episode of this show. Oh, I'm going to check out this show. I wonder what episode 499 is like. <laughs> Lord Weber, what are you? What are you up to? What are you doing here? Well, you know, it's it's a bit embarrassing. I didn't realize it- that. Uh, <laughs> now what's that? <laughs> Why? See? What is See? this? I'm sorry. I'm what's the deal, you're, man? Contrary. You're in this, Why? You're in this mood where you're being bawdy with your with your young boyfriend. Oh, uh, you you missed it. He uh, a muffin exploded in his face, yeah. so it altered his behavior. He got bukkake by breakfast earlier in the week, <laughs> and it's now real. It's trying to really overcompensate. Under no circumstances, tell me this story. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's going on with my lip here. I don't see any. Okay. <laughs> you grimaced at me like, like a, a sickly wolf. That was legit a snarl, I believe. It was a snarl. It's a face you, when you do it, it's a face you otherwise never make, yeah. which is interesting well, to see someone make, make a face, face that they otherwise never make. That's true. Who yeah. would ever make that face? That's I agree. What, other, what face uh, have I never seen you make? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I've, I've seen that. I've seen that one. I've seen oh, that one. Damn it. Yeah. That was when you were trying to make a bunch of pancakes in time for uh, the for kids the who were visiting. Yeah. 
the pancake festival you throw in your house. <laughs> Honestly, I gotta get that got shut down. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. shut down. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, a real Christopher bad. Robin. Did situation. you have a comedy tent going on? In there? <laughs> yes, I had, a com- <laughs> I had a comedy tent. It was poorly run, <laughs> but it was close <laughs> to the music. Rising. It was close to the music tent, at least, so that yeah, everything, everything was nearly everything. inaudible. Yeah, <laughs> which is what I want in my comedy. I want to be outside, yep. uncomfortable, yeah. hot, and not able to hear it. Lord Weber, you ever do a music festival? I've done several music festivals. Which ones? Well, let's see, Coachella. Mm. Are you there Coachella. musical festivals? Are there festivals where multiple People, yeah. musicals are going on on multiple stages all the time? That would be amazing. Like Hamilton is top billed on, yep. on Saturday. But know? if you get there early enough, you can see uh, Miss Saigon and then all the others. I don't know any <laughs> all of the others. others. All the others. <laughs> we did do one on the Isle of Wight, and uh, it was it was a very ambitious idea. Mm. Uh, and the the main problem was we had several stages set up with musicals happening concurrently. Mm. Yeah. And sure. The noise was deafening. <laughs> I would th- I would assume so. You could not it it was unpleasant to attend any singular performance. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there was so much noise it killed all the birds. No. Whoa. Yes. Was this during something like Stomp? Was Stomp there? Or? Of course Stomp was there. Was Blue Man Group there? <laughs> Blue Man Group was there. Bring in Da Noise. Bring in what Da about Funk. Defunk? Oh, Da Funk was there. Okay. Both, both were there. <laughs> a musical theater festival, that's a lot of massage circles. <laughs> I feel like that show, if it were just like bring in both Da Noise and Da Funk. It would be a better Well, title. you can't have them brought in at the same time, dear boy. <laughs> really? You must bring them in one at a yeah. time. Ah, separately. Oh, yeah. yeah. They can't be together. I see. I see. It's a, if you've never seen the show, in the first uh, act, they bring in the noise, and then they take an intermission. And, and they say, but, by the way, come back. Come back, because we're bringing in the funk. Yeah. The yeah. noise will remain. They, are sh- they, they are In the old, when the show first opened. Da Noise had to vacate the building. <laughs> wow. Before Da Funk was brought in. <laughs> really? Yes. Due to well, zoning? Da or? Noise, I had read, there's a book, there's a great book about this. I had read that Da Noise thought that he was the star of the show. Ah. And when, when he found out that Da Funk was coming in after was him. Was the headliner. He was not happy. Da Noise was told that the name of the program was Bring in Da Noise. <laughs> yes. Full stop. Correct. And it wasn't until he saw a poster on the subway that he realized he'd been duped. Ah, and the person said, you didn't let me finish. (laughs) That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Uh, Bring in the noise, semicolon, bring in the funk. (laughs) Mm -hmm. What was this festival called, Lord Weber? It seems so interesting. I mean, uh, a festival like that, I I would love to go to it. It was was called. uh, You said it was the Isle Isle of White? The Isle of White. Mm -hmm. It was called. Yes? (laughs) I get emotional when I think about it. Oh, oh of course. My God, you're, I can see such, you recollecting. Uh, it was such a wonderful idea. Pardon me. It, was, I, your, it was your idea as It well? was not my idea. Whose it idea was, was it? It was the idea of every one of us who <sighs> composed musical theater. Mm. We all banded together for the Sondheim? first time. Yes, he was there, <laughs> of course. Stephen Sandheim, Kander and Ebb, <laughs> Rogers and Hammerstein, every surviving person at that time. And and if they had not survived to that point, their robot doubles were there. <laughs> <laughs> their so you've over, got like a... Moon over Parador. <laughs> this, was, this, this was 1975. A robot, uh, uh, George and Ira Gershwin. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Jerome Kern. Irving Berlin bot was there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys do Moving Out, the Billy Joel jukebox this, musical? This, this predated that. Oh, uh, I see. Also... There were no juking box musicals present. You don't like those. Oh, I interesting. I do not. Oh my heavens! You can't. You cannot just uh, cobble, round, together. cobble together like a, I, like a common well, cobbler. I said this on the record. If Which take, record? <laughs> the record where I give my thoughts and feelings. <laughs> Haven't you purchased that I album? Have not purchased it's it. called it's Andrew Lloyd Webber it himself. It's a forty-five. Is it a forty-five? It's. It, oh no! It's double album. <laughs> It Double is. LP. Well, just, I, it's by the way, Andrew Lloyd Webber himself. I sit on I sit on a chair on a stage alone. Is it like three sides live? Three sides live. <laughs> I just talk about whatever comes into my mind, my feelings on things. By the way. Know. You should do this. <laughs> we should sell this. You should do a double album. <laughs> of just we, like, I'm saying I've already yes, done it. You have done Perhaps it. Perhaps a bit you of it survives somewhere. So sure. I don't know if you the entire thing survives it anywhere. Is we I really mean. should put out a special edition of this. 180 gram vinyl. Come mm. on. What? A what? Uh, just very high quality vinyl. He's a cokehead. <laughs> <laughs> 
You just oh, give I me didn't. that. You give me that record, and uh, we'll uh, we'll listen to it. I didn't realize you were a cocaine. Oh now. yeah, man, I'm super into cocaine now. Oh well. Yeah, it's brand new in my life. Oh, I, that's so crazy. I just discovered. Just it. how are you 40s? finding it? It's terrific. I'm getting a lot. It's wonderful, done. isn't it? Wow. I'm getting a lot done. I've registered a whole bunch of new domain names. Oh, that's oh. smart. That's a good money maker. Well, uh, take us through at least 15 of them. <laughs> okay, Scott Ackerman is a piece of shit. <laughs> oh no, I don't want any of this. <laughs> You can get, I, you can get like Scott Ackerman as a piece of shit dot ninja now. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah, is dot, dot ninja a thing? Dot ninja is a thing. Uh, I heard Bye. it on Reply All. Oh, my God, of course. I think I also heard you there. <laughs> That's probably true, Gina. So, Andrew Lloyd Webber, what was the name of this festival again? Uh, the name of the festival. You'll forgive me. Of course, uh, you, you're forgiven. It was called A Perfect Evening Surrounded by Water. Wow. <laughs> By the way, it sounds amazing. That's, That's a great festival. It was That's an right. aspirational title, of course. That's what mm-hmm. we thought it was going to be. You thought it was going to be a perfect evening. A perfect evening. It's almost like you jinxed yourself. Water. And then Robert the birds. The jinx. So every one of the shows started <coughs> at the same time? <laughs> We've used two. <laughs> Are you okay? Sorry. You what? mentioned Robert Durst. It's a trigger for me. Oh, I, oh, I, I see. I burp any time I hear. I do apologize. <laughs> We've used two usages of the word jinx. Yeah. Oh, wow. You, you jinxed yourself and a jinx. And we had a jinx. You had like a Please classic. Please stop saying <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. God, I've never heard you belch before. I never. It's never happened in public. <laughs> you did it, Gino. <laughs> they figured you out. Killed them all, of course. <laughs> So you thought it was going to be- Are you guys still doing your um, Jinx uh, uh, remake? We are writing- Your shot for shot- Shot for shot remake of of that- Jinx remake. (laughs) Taking the documentary and turning it- Of the unlucky documentary, we call it. (laughs) (laughs) That's really- I love that as a move. Yeah, Gus Van Zandt's going to direct it, we Perfect. He's the shot for shot guy. When you see (laughs) Genosafat- as the titular jinx. Oh, my God. As the jinx. Why are you working on He's something <laughs> that makes you belch this He's much? the jinx. Because it's worth it. it I do it it's, for the artistry. Art must uh, be challenging. ALW, are you writing songs into this jinx? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am. I oh, my God. I'm sorry. This is the line that's been crossed? Yeah. Yes. Why are you wanting him to stop? We're having a great time. I know. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Enjoy- Did you I'm want to enjoy- talk about pre-cum again? No, I'm enjoying. I mean. Do you want to talk about getting a hot load of egg on your face? <laughs> you turned this now into something that it was not. Mission accomplished. You weren't, George blow, w. you weren't blowing an egg sandwich until it exploded all over your face and burned you? You shouldn't have told us anything about your personal life. Yeah. I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. Next time I'll just keep it close to the chest, as they say in Dark Knight. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Do and they? Two different characters. <laughs> yes. Misuse that, that <laughs> expression. That, I, don't, I don't know as, as much of misuse as it's just not as common and odd to hear it twice in the same movie. I think both it, can be true. Isn't it play it close to the vest is the expression? Well, that's yeah, the one yeah, that is correct. more commonly known. <laughs> that's correct. But close to the chest? I mean, believe me, I'd, I'd much rather be close to some chest than some vest, All if right. you know what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm slapped about- a, I slapped a woman at the bagel store for saying <laughs> chomping at the bit. I had to explain to her it was champing at the <laughs> bit. Chomping. And then I was thoroughly, I was arrested right after that. <laughs> well, and then you I said, think that sounds chasm. right. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then you went outside and started digging around in holes looking for honey. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find them underground bees. So, anyway. Lord Weber, bees. So you, you think it's you're, a, you're a, doing a, a jinx perfect, musical. It's a perfect. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, yes. we're, we're back on the jinx thing. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Please stop saying it. <laughs> so, well, it's now like, it's I'm like curious Macbeth. how it's long like it can go on for. We, we shouldn't be saying. Yes, that's why I said it's called the unlucky documentary. Yes, right, right, right. Much like bases the covered, Scottish play. <laughs> Much like that. Yes, Macbeth. Show me, f- <laughs> please, Scottish <laughs> Macbard. Can we say Macbard? <laughs> Mc what? Macbard. Why well, don't people say that instead of Macbeth? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I did it. <laughs> I jinxed myself. They do now. Oops. Oh, 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 no. See, it's contagious, like Jason's yawn. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I love that you guys are both so committed. To this character, yeah. Robert Durst and the Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, both of you. This is, I don't know if I can take this. I certainly can't. <laughs> I'm sure the listeners are enjoying it. <laughs> can we they've get, enjoyed up to this point. <laughs> yeah, can okay. we get back to your... Is your, it about them at all? <laughs> can we get back to the perfect evening? You think it's a perfect evening. A perfect evening. Suddenly the, the birds water. start dropping. 
Oh, were, were they dropping from out of the sky or were they dropping. landing on the ground in a daze and then sort of falling over? Around? It was a bit of both. <laughs> uh, I, I'll never forget seeing Jonathan Price uh, singing. From Miss Saigon? Yes, he was. Wow. From Brazil? See, si. mm-hmm. He was singing. Uh, you got some waters for us? <laughs> <laughs> Filling up some waters. Sorry, was that close Did to the mic? <laughs> make that it as loud as audible. possible. Sorry, I just want to make sure everyone's hydrated for the rest of this. Thank you. You can start the show with that. By okay, the way. fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering why all these empty cups were here with a water bottle. <laughs> now yeah, I get it. Because it's your job. So, all right, go ahead. So, Jonathan Price from Game of Thrones. <laughs> That's correct. Uh, or Taboo, his Ooh. most recent IMDb mm. credit. Oh. Mm. As of this recording. It, it written by Chips Hardy. <laughs> That's correct. It, it, Who is Chips written by? Ch- Chips yeah. Deck Shepard. <laughs> Okay. Austin Austin. <laughs> there we go. Because you know, way to shut down a bit. Chip happens. <laughs> anyway, go what, ahead. What? What? Uh, How could he have furthered that bit? Yeah. <laughs> By saying like Taboo okay. Hardy or hey. something like that. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, now oh, I understand boy. bits. Oh boy. <laughs> now I get bits. Yes, actually, I'm sorry. I didn't. That's actually very good. <laughs> You're not <laughs> reading my mind. I'm sorry. I couldn't read your mind, Taboo Hardy. <laughs> oh, God. More like. More like what? Thumbs Nothing. down? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Are you okay? Jonathan, Pr- yes, I'm, I'm fine. So I am unaccustomed to being spoken to in this manner. He's, he's, I tolerate the interruptions. For whatever reason, I continue to appear on the show. <laughs> but Scotrick, yes. all right, go ahead. Go ahead, go. <laughs> go. Do your thing. Oh, he's given I, up. I, I shan't. I think he's given I think I'm this, You are denied the I'm pleasure this no. of hearing the story. No, I this ban musical. people from the show. I, people don't ban. Who's banned from the, yeah, this who's program? Banned? Brett Gelman. Obviously, Willie Mapleton. Oh God! Have you banned him? I mean, I'd like to. I, I hope you he never comes. So, so far, one. You person. haven't banned anybody, right? Well, there was uh, someone on the show uh, recently. Uh, was uh, yes? Please look in your phone to oh, see what your, is great. What your Toluca, strong Toluca feelings Toluca Graves. are. <laughs> Toluca Graves, the, the, the celebrity photographer. <laughs> you know Toluca Graves. Of course I do. Oh God, some people I just can't stand. Oh, in big chunky bubbles. I wish. <laughs> well, why would you ban? He's delightful. <laughs> This is bullying. He's now you're just threatening people. When I'm running this, this is like show, a Colin... all are welcome. Oh, are you taking over the show? Yes. I when mean, do you want to take over? You want to take well, over? You look like you are acting take as o- if you do you not what? want to do this show break? anymore. Why don't, we'll take a break. You Go. take over. Great. We'll see how bad you are at I mean, it. Are you killing yourself during the break? Yeah. No, I'm going to I'm gonna be here sitting around pulling a Jason, meaning just, just sitting wow. around being an asshole, <laughs> commenting on everything <laughs> that you word. say. Wow. We are trying I to say. have fun. Oh, yeah? And you're well, being a feel real like that. burnt face about it. <laughs> burnt face or burnt? Burnt. <laughs> because if I were a burnt face, like Ernie and Burnt, is that yep. what you're trying to say? No, like burnt because your he, face is burnt. He looks like his face could be burnt. He looks like he came out of one of those tubes. Yeah. When he came out of, yeah. Um, or a real narrow <laughs> vaginal canal. <laughs> right. And cue commercials. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to a break. When we come back, our host, Jason, yeah. will be taking us through the last segment. Here That's we go. Right. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> <laughs> I got into the podcast game low these many years ago because I want to be rich and famous. <laughs> no, of course not. No one gets into podcasts for that. No, I wanted to bring comedy to you, the listener, in an easier way. There's a reason you got into business, right? It, and it wasn't to worry about how to track your applicants or how to figure out email marketing. Oh, God, the, the thought of it. It makes me recoil in horror. Don't let those things dominate your time, just like they didn't dominate my time. There is software out there that can handle all the day-to-day busy work for you. You just need to find it. That is why I'm telling people about Captera.com. All right? Captera. C-A-P and then T-E-R-R-A, the earth, in other words. Captera, imagine it like this. There's a baseball hat on the globe. That's how I remember Captera. There's a cap on top of the world. Anyway, Captera helps you find the software solution for your business needs. It's an easy-to-use website with over 400 categories of software to choose from or from which to choose. Whether you need help with website building, customer service, or project management, Captera, remember that baseball hat on top of the globe, is the place to go. They have thousands of ratings and reviews from actual software users just like you. Now, that doesn't mean they're going to make you leave a review. 
Although maybe they'll ask you. I have no idea. But here's the best part. Using Captera is absolutely free. No obligation. You don't need to register. It is a free resource that will help you make the right software decision. So join the millions of people who use Captera. Remember that cap, baseball cap on top of the globe. Join the millions of people who use it every month. Visit captera.com slash bangbang and find the software that's going to help you do what you do better. That's captera, C-A-P-T-E-R-R-A dot com slash bangbang to start your search today. Captera, the cap on top of the globe, dot com slash bangbang. <laughs> Hey, Big Grande fans, listen up. Your favorite improv group is back for season two of The Teacher's Lounge. Big Grande, who are Drew Tarver, Dan Lippert, John Mackey, and Ryan Rosenberg, play four eccentric high school faculty members that give you a behind-the-scenes look of Hamilton High School. The second season features all-star guests such as Paul F. Tompkins, Lauren Lapkus, Seth Morris, Carl Tart, and more. Listen to season two of Big Grande's Teacher's Lounge on Stitcher Premium. Find out more and hear an episode for free at stitcherpremium.com slash teacher. <laughs> and sound speeds. <laughs> sound speeds. You give me. You give me the sign, Gina. All right. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And welcome back to Comedy Bang Bang with your host Jason Manzukas. I'm here with Andrew Lloyd Weber. Hello. I'm here with my intern, my bro, Gino, and Scott Ackerman is still checking his phone. <laughs> So How are you, Scotty? As the guest, I'm allowed to do that. Absolutely. Scott, what are you here promoting? <laughs> I wish not you, you to host. W- you wish not me to host. <laughs> yep. I, wish, <laughs> I wish not you to host. I pretty much filed that. <laughs> what a burnt face. <laughs> <laughs> now, before uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber, we were talking about God, the... God, the, the, the <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, if you're just going to sit there and snipe. You're terrible. Level sound, terrible. The levels sound good, Jason. Thank you. You're Thank you, Gino. Thank you so much. And Scott, as a guest, could you just keep it quiet while Jason <laughs> <laughs> trying to get his audio I can, clean? I can see why Paul does this on his show. <laughs> oh, Who? oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Andrew, it's Jesus. Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> Paul Provenza? <laughs> but are you still working with Paul Provenza? <laughs> <laughs> I like Paul Provenza. Because you were doing that new show with him and Elaine Boozler, Prevents and Baby Booze. <laughs> Is this the kind of show that you're going to do? Yeah. Yeah. Like, Except I'm going to have people who want to participate. Hey, I want to be here. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Scott, what are you here promoting? I'm not here promoting it. I'm here you promoting You said you wanted to bang talk bang. about the thing you're promoting. I'm here to promote Comedy Bang Bang, a show that I will be doing uh, silence, as the Godric. host. For- si- silence. You, you know, Jason, what I like is your hosting style. Thank it's you. very direct. What are you here promoting? <laughs> yes, what I, yeah. Question it's, one. It's what, seamless. What are you here promoting? <laughs> Question one. What are you here promoting? What, it's like a Byron. What are you here Sit promoting? the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get in my face. <laughs> Be careful with Scott's face. Oh, oh yeah, we, uh, we got to be. Yeah, careful. what are you? What are you? An egg? No, I know you're not because you're fucking allergic. No, I'm oh, allergic. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Fuck shots you! Fired. Fuck shots you! Fired. You fucking eggless bastard! <laughs> oh snap! Oh snap! Did you just put me on egg blast? <laughs> yeah, oh, what I was shit. on. <laughs> that is, Im- I am. I've been humiliated. Oh, oh. fuck! Man. This is fucked. I don't know if I can continue. Scott's scrappy when cornered. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel like, you know what? I feel like in wanting to be the host, I jinxed myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> God damn it. Why? <laughs> so many other words you could use. <laughs> I unluckily backed myself into a situation that is difficult for me to succeed in, which mm-hmm. is essentially a jinx. Right. <laughs> Why? Oh, God. I started Who's now. Scott's got it now? Oh, geez. Oh, that only makes me want to do it more. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder are you, who's using these mics next. Are you saying, Jason, you want to abdicate the, the, your duties of to me? Of course. Of course, Abdic- Scott. Did someone say abdicate? Yes. <laughs> now you're talking my language. <laughs> Wait, are you hoping that the queen abdicates the throne? Are you in line? Is there some sort of the line succession? Of succession? The line of succession, as pertains to the nobility, it's, it, it takes quite a long time. It would mm. take many, many. It, it would Are you like designated be... survivor? <laughs> is that why you're here? Uh, on some days I am, <laughs> yes. Whenever you're here, does that mean something big is going on where everybody else in, is in line and you're safe here? Well, but the way it works is the queen, whenever she leaves Buckingham Palace, 
Her life is in danger. Who knows what could happen? Sure. And so someone is asked to stay behind in Buckingham Palace who is not a member of the royal family. I see. Just in case something should happen to all, just in case of a, what we call a King Ralph situation. Sure. Sure, sure. Yeah, we yeah. mentioned that earlier. Weird that we mentioned that when you weren't here. <laughs> that <laughs> is very strange. I beg your pardon. <laughs> How could that be? Why would you? <laughs> Why would we indeed? <laughs> so, uh, uh, so sometimes there's uh, silence. Sometimes... <laughs> I am asked to stay in the palace, which is what it's a wonderful privilege, of course. Where do you stay? Because well, you have what? the run of the place. That's really? what's so wonderful about it. Do you try to sleep it's like, in every it's bed? Like, it's like being a babysitter, <laughs> where they, they, they're all rummaging through things. Saying, Help yourself to anything, <laughs> and of course, I go straight to that fridge and see what good. Are you a have. babysitter as well? I have, <laughs> I have, I have looks after many. Uh, an infant and young child in my day, yes. Really? Yes. Uh, just ones in England? I would do you... it for extra jewels when I was a lad. <laughs> mm. Princess Di? Let's go. I, uh, wow. Can you wait. not mention someone wow. just because they passed away? He uh, is. Sorry. <laughs> wait, you burp when Princess, Princess Di? Di? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> it's complicated, but... <laughs> Should we be calling her Diana because of what happened to her instead of Di? So, oh, yeah, because you think Princess, Princess Di is I think almost it was like a this, command? It was a self-fulfilling prophecy when we started calling her that. This is bang out of order. I'm sorry. Are we not supposed to ever mention someone who's died before? Yeah, of course you can mention them. Should I say something like the late, great, or... The late, <laughs> the late great. <laughs> the late, great. Does that, does that soften the, late, the blow? The late, great Princess Di. <laughs> As if she were a beloved disc jockey. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it's, she it's, did do drive time I'm, I'm sorry to bring on K-Rock for a while <laughs> uh, too soon <laughs> I'm sorry to bring up someone that you maybe you were close it's with it's a very we were all close to her don't you see mm. it was a very, she was all of our princess she was America's sweetheart the second England. candle in the wind <laughs> yes that was a bit of a <laughs> a rush job <laughs> right well you know no, tell me. <laughs> he did. A, he did. A, he did a weird owl of his own song for someone else's death. <laughs> his eighth candle in the wind, the Menor uh, Hanukkah song he did, is good. <laughs> I like that. Did but uh, now that we brought her up, and now that you've mourned oh, a little bit, uh, did you used to babysit her? Well, I. I may have. Uh, she she was just a little nobody at the time. Don't sure. You it was, uh, yeah. Well, it was she so, wasn't engaged to Prince Charles or anything no, like certainly. that. By the by, the time she was, she did not need a babysitter. <laughs> sure. Did Charles meet her through you? Yes, and <laughs> I was very happy wow, that they good. ended up getting this is, married. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. This I'm in level really two at the stuff. magnet, so <laughs> I like this. That's really great, man. <laughs> I'm sorry to bring her up. I'm sorry. You you obviously don't want to talk about her. I I you know it was it was such a sad thing. Where were see. you when I will never forget where I was. Mm. It was an Arby's. <laughs> in Do you mean Arby's A R B Y apostrophe S or R B R period B? <laughs> what would that be? <laughs> the Richard Branson's? <laughs> House? Oh my God! <laughs> I don't the know. Very, the very insult injury. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know if How you're close to you? Richard Branson. I am no. You you know that I am not close to Richard Branson. <laughs> I'm sorry. They not are not like enemies. He's only a sir. Has he gotten laid yet? <laughs> Did he not get laid? I don't know. This is just all his stuff virgin, is virgin. virgin. Oh, I, I understand. Now wait a hammer a bit, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Shoes on the other foot, Ackerman. <laughs> Damn it. Know, I got to start know? wearing my shoes on the right feet. I have, I have heard, I have heard that on his uh, airline, such as it is, mm. the, the, the safety video that plays. <laughs> now, I've never seen one of these because I haven't flown commercial in approximately 50 years. <laughs> what was it like back then? Ugh, oh my gosh. Dreadful. You could smoke on yeah, it. Yeah, everybody smoked. This is like Every, everyone, you were, you were required to smoke. <laughs> that's how they kept the plane. That's the plane. They told us it kept the plane in the air. <laughs> <laughs> like you, have, smoke rises, so we need we some. Need, exactly. We need the buoyancy of that's the smoke. Correct. to There's keep too us much there. oxygen yeah. in this plane. Somebody light up, we're going down. In those days, you were required to bring a pack of cigarettes, a full packet of cigarettes, and four helium balloons. <laughs> oh my God. 
Yes. And we were all smoking and blowing up beaching balls. Yeah, and everybody wore suits and dressed up for the for Everyone the Everyone was wearing a tuxedo or a ball gown. <laughs> I feel the same way, by the way, when they when they say that we have to move in order to like have the plane feel balanced. Like that's got to be oh, something to, that, for weight distribution. For weight distri- sure. I feel like that's something that's they're going to disprove. I also in like don't. 10 years. I don't. It's like, just a way to fat shame people. <laughs> yeah, it it's really never is. happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it? Exactly. A slim trim man. I such never as have yourself, to worry Gino? about where I sit on a boat or a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I also have no trouble getting onto and off of planes. <laughs> Uh, so who would you what what airline would you rather fly on Trump Airlines or Richard Branson's Virgin Airlines oh dear can you imagine (sighs) this is almost a would you rather it is what should we all right, so uh, let's play a little game that we like to call would you rather oh I say who's the host of this podcast (laughs) this is a Sondheim song by the way no wonder I don't like it. The oh, frogs. Do we, do we talk during this now? It's just as aimless and tuneless as everything he ever writes. Wow. If you had to pick one Sondheim song that's a good song, though. Well, let's see. There's this one song from Assassins. Keep it going, keep it going. Where a number of people uh, are singing, uh, the chorus is singing, in taking turns talking about how they saved the the life of President Roosevelt. Sure. And what I like about it is that it quotes existing songs in its melody. <laughs> so you like the original That's songs. That's my favorite Sondheim song. <laughs> <laughs> if oh, I had to pick All right. One. Well, it's time to play Would You Rather. Uh, uh, we have, uh, this one came to us from me. Uh, <laughs> would you rather fly Trump Airlines or would you rather fly, uh, Virgin Airlines? I've opened the floor for questions. I have a question. Yes. <laughs> In this scenario yes. where I am forced to choose between these two allies. Yes. You have a gun to your head. Yes. I- yes. You have 10 AKs to your head. Not as not as wonderful as a sword to one's <laughs> neck. Mm-hmm. But about to be- receive the greatest honor an Englishman can receive. If you had died that day, by the way, would you have said it's worth it? Of course. But that, I, that, I would like to think. I, 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 silence. I would like to think that as my head rolled to the royal carpet, <laughs> it would have mouthed the word "Thank you, Your Majesty." <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a basket or anything like that, or is it just on the carpet? Nope. It's wow. It just falls right on the floor. <laughs> Amazing. Who picks it up? Is there a dog or something? Or? There's various. <laughs> is there a dog or something? <laughs> There's like a couple of bull mastiffs that come and grab it. Like <laughs> the, they're the trained on soccer balls. Please, please, gentlemen. Of course, there is a footman, a powdered wigged footman, who picks it up, who throws it to the queen's corgis to devour. <laughs> <laughs> so Phil Collins. You're about she to be want, corgi food. She wants to knight him. She wants she just you knight him. You think all. so? You don't think you don't think he's gonna get there. He's afraid. I and she's gonna be like, I didn't care for Susu Studio and chop chop chop. Here no way she says that. That's, she really? That's the best film that. Yeah, that. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. What about Tarzan? He, he because she thinks trash in the that camp? she's the girl that's been on his mind. Really? <laughs> she, oh. thinks, she thinks it's about oh, that's her. That's absurd. What about Easy Lover? Does she think that's about her? No, she thinks she <laughs> Or is that about Princess She Di? knows that's about Queen Beatrix of Holland. Oh! <laughs> and she yeah. hates the way he walks, right? Wait, does Phil Collins <laughs> only <laughs> write love songs about the royal, uh, royalty of different countries? If you ask the royalty, he does. Do you know what I'm saying? I appreciate I you covering so. your mouth, by the way, because I couldn't hear that. Oh, good. I put my hand shield up. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying no right now. No one can hear. I'm <laughs> shielding my mouth from Scott Rick. He has no idea. <laughs> Haven't a clue. So now, uh, yes, you have 10 AKs to your head in this scenario. Right. So what's your question? Have all other airlines gone out of business? Yes. Every other airline has had uh, their airplanes crash into each other head on. Oh, no. Oh, that's a very specific way to go out of business. I have another question. Will I encounter the owners of these airlines on this aeroplane? Yes, they'll be flying the planes. And occasionally flying the planes. They'll be flying and occasionally coming back and serving drinks. Who's flying the plane while while they're serving the drinks? Autopilot. Autopilot? Who is this autopilot? (laughs) Come on, guys. (laughs) 
You know what I'm saying. Are the drinks free? Drinks are five dollars, and it's a cashless. You gotta airline. have debit. Oh, so you gotta have your debit. Oh, card. Okay. Oh, oh, then I have. Then I have an important. What's follow-up. that? <laughs> you don't know what cashless is? Well, I know, I know. I don't carry cash, of course. Yeah. But I don't know what a debit card is. Oh, a de- oh, a, uh, a, a bank cre- card, credit card. A what? I believe they call them bank cards in England. Bank card. The Bank of England. Do you know that? I know the Bank of England. Do you keep money in there? <laughs> I keep some money in there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Where do you keep most of your money? In uh, well, I convert it into uh, uh, jewels and gold. Do you? Oh, so like a goblet? at your house, do you have a treasure room? Yes, I have. A, I have a sort of a like a Scrooge McDuck style, like, or it's smog? Like a, it's like a dragon's hoard. Yes, oh, oh, a like smog, if you will. Yes. <laughs> the dragon smog just hanging yeah. out. Do you? Are uh, you turning into a dragon? Do you? Oh, think? tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. <laughs> well, it, watch it, yourself, counselor. <laughs> I don't. I, I would worry more that you would suffer uh, uh, dragon dragon sickness. Dragon sickness more yeah. so than turn into a dragon. But you you would have to have. That's the first stage of turning into a dragon. The madness. Now I, I'm the not, madness that accompanies it. At the risk of sounding immodest, yes, I do quite well, thank you. Mm-hmm. But you would have to have so much treasure, so much treasure to mm-hmm. succumb to dragon mm-hmm. sickness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you have a lot of treasure. I have. A, I, I do all right. Dragon sickness makes me think of my next question. Mm-hmm. Can you use gift cards? <laughs> to, to buy can drinks you, on the plane? Yeah, can you use like a Visa gift card? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a $100 Visa gift card yeah. that you get for signing up for Amazon Prime or something yes, like that? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. That's good. Wait a minute. Uh, that's I, know, mine, then. I know your Trixie's got trick. Yes. <laughs> Wait, are you saying Trixie's because you have dragon sickness? <laughs> I'm, I can't get quite a read on whether you're like a, a golem kind of thing or is or golem is that not a golem? <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't mean to say that. Now, the, how do you? How, what do you think? You know, uh, Tolkien. He 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 just nicks the 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 word golem, golem and then yeah. switches the pronunciation. I know it's makes like it a, golem. It's like a Harry Potter kind of thing. Like Snape is like Snipe. Yes, that's that's why I I have no sympathy for him that uh, that Led Zeppelin just stole all of his stuff <laughs> and, and made it into music. Songs. Do you like How Led Zeppelin? How is that allowed? <laughs> and, and Imagine a band came out now that just did like the Avengers theme stuff, <laughs> or just like did Dick Francis songs <laughs> and the horse. Yes, the horse. Yes, oh. that's who I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> Uh, any other questions? Well, I, I, was I, believe, say, I, was, my, I I was in the middle of my question. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, you got a question in the middle. Of you his said question. the Congrats, owners. Gino. He's in the middle of his third question in a row. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you, you, you gotta, play the game. Yeah, you, you got to get in questions there. to play the game <laughs> early and often. Uh, is you said the owners of the respective airlines mm-hmm. are on the plane? They're flying the plane, yes. but. Is Branson on Trump's plane and vice versa? Yes, they did a vice versa. They did a uh, plane switch or plane swap. Oh, wow. Wow. Do you Not think it's going to become permanent? Not a Fred Savage, Judge Reinhold situation? <laughs> it wasn't, yes, a vice versa. <laughs> I've closed the floor for questions. What? what? There was no warning. I'm sorry. There's no warning. All right, wow, guys. We, wow. I didn't even ask a question. Yeah, let's see how we're going to vote. Uh, Jason, how are you voting? Richard Branson. Richard Branson, uh, meaning you're flying Virgin or you're flying the plane that Richard Branson is flying? Oh, oh, that's correct. Yes, the, you're right. Oh, wow, that really mixes it up. Yep. Oh, man, I wish I'd asked a question. Okay, <laughs> then um, Richard Branson. <laughs> yeah, again, I'm going to ask <laughs> you to clarify. You have my answer. <laughs> okay, all right, Gito. Um, so on Trump's airline. Yes. You're, are you asking a question? Because that's no, not no, allowed. No, no, no. Okay. So I'll choose <laughs> I'll choose Trump's airline. With Richard Branson with flying With Richard Branson plane. on it because Trump Trump's airline will probably show the film Bloodsport. <laughs> okay, great. And Lord Weber. This is very difficult because yes. on the one hand. <sighs> the money you would be uh, spending purchasing the ticket. Would oh, go- I have to purchase the ticket <laughs> yes, as well? That, that, would, that would go to the person uh, who owns the airline. So the, the people pointing the, the AK-47s at my head, yes. they are forcing me to purchase, purchase a, a ticket. ticket. Yes, <laughs> yes. They're forcing you to go to your treasure, pick out a couple of gold coins. Well, this makes things somewhat easier. Mm-hmm. Do you keep your treasure in like a chest? Like a treasure what, what chest? Fits. I mean, Do you the, keep your like, treasure close to the chest? Like, there are several treasure <laughs> chests that I keep close by. Yeah, of course. 
Uh, as you can see, I have two chestlets with oh, me right two now. Two tiny chests. Two tiny chests. Is that kind of like your wallet? Exactly. Is that like what your wallet is, basically? If it pleases you, yes. Yeah. I believe they're called hey. pecs when you have two. Nice <laughs> chestlets. <laughs> Scott. This Please has vote. Been the most. <laughs> what are you, Jeb Bush? <laughs> Plaintive, please Jeff! vote. <laughs> I would fly on the Trump airplane knowing that it would kill Richard Branson to have to fly a plane that is not his and that is so disgustingly tacky. It would drive him mad. And he would have to serve you because he would, ha- he would yes. be forced to get you drinks. Exactly. All right. Let's see. We have one vote for Trump airline. No, you voted for Trump. Okay. So two for Trump and Jason's well, vote doesn't count So uh, because he would not clarify. <laughs> so let's, Richard Branson. <laughs> let's tally up the points. It's one to one. Looks like we have our first tie ever in Would You Rather. Congratulations, Gino Vanni and Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber. You both win. Well, is that true? The first? I don't <laughs> think it's the first tie. Maybe. Ever. Who cares? <laughs> it's another tie or the first tie. And Either way. that's how we play Would You Rather. When's the last time this got played? I don't know. <laughs> what excitement. Fun. We should do, we should do it more often. Remember games? Yeah, remember? I do remember the games. I used to quite enjoy the games. Yeah, let's play them more often. I think often. it was the reason I came on the show. <laughs> Tell you what, in our ninth year... Let's play them. All games. All games. All games, the, all, the games year, all the time. Nothing Why don't games. you make year nine the year of games? Year all of games, games all the time. Uh, that would be amazing. And then each each maybe month, retire a game and bring on a new and game. Think of a new yes. game? We Hoi, can barely think of the one. Let's, yeah. <laughs> well, well, there's fortunately, unfortunately. There's what am I thinking? Riddle me this. There's riddle me this, the rap battle. <laughs> That's true. All right, let's play some more games next year. Let's not do rap battle. (laughs) Why? You're good at rap battle, right, Andrew Lloyd Webber? I mean, you're a songwriter by trade. Of course I am. Let's hear a little bit of it. It's time to do a little... (laughs) Be careful what you ask Looks like we jinxed ourselves. Here we are. Rap battle. Andrew Lloyd Lloyd Webber. Webber, Scott Ackerman. That's the battle. Scotty Ox versus (laughs) Andrew Lloyd Webber. (laughs) All right, Lloyd Webber, start us off. I will. <clears throat> Waiting for it to come back around again. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Well, I like to rap and I like to battle. How did you hear this? Did someone tattle? I'm the one who told you. Never forget, that's what you get when I say that I like to rap. I'm not kidding. <laughs> this isn't a trap. I'm rapping. I'm rapping at you. Does that make you happy or blue? Are you sad? Because I wrapped around your head, which is down in the ground, and you're dead. I've killed you. I've killed you with my raps. Murder. <laughs> oh, wow. That's some hardcore wow. gangster rap. I fucking love that. that was a, I, why don't you ever have that kind of hard edge in your other stuff? I like to entertain people. I don't really think they're about to be murdered. <laughs> wow, that was great. I can that only rap good. about murder. Oh my gosh, the music's fading out. <laughs> Unfortunately, Scotty. I won't be able to. Uh... Scotty, don't <laughs> oh, you do You're going to go a cappella. We are running out of time, guys. We do. <laughs> Unfortunately, we only have time for one more thing here, and that is a little something called plugs. <laughs> Wow, that was sort of like a Strokes guitar line there a little bit. Uh, mm-hmm. That was really I'm Not a Weirdo by KevBot4000. Thank you so much to KevBot4000. I wonder if Kev the, the, maybe died and was replaced look by at that. Uh, like wow. a, a robot. It's entirely possible. Wow. If he, he's clearly not trying to hide the fact that he's <laughs> yeah, now a robot. Yeah. Very upfront about How it. How many robots don't even bother to hide it? The <laughs> ones that call themselves 3000 or bot something. Right? Like those guys are just flaunting it. Yeah, anyone is just like, that's call letters. You know, your R4E1s and it's KRS1. Yeah. How long do you think until people start asking? Uh, for themselves to be referred to, like in public, by their like screen names. Yeah, that's true. Like, don't you feel like that's like, what's coming? Your, hey, what's your name? At Scott Ackerman. Yeah, or something like that, or whatever yeah. corny name they are. You know, like yeah. I feel like that's coming. Yeah, at I Colfax hope. McLiverneck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> call I me at be. Drill. <laughs> 
at drill at drill <laughs> yeah what does that mean? there's someone on twitter whose name is at drill i'm assuming oh <laughs> there <laughs> is there is <laughs> one l <laughs> all right guys what are we plugging uh jason obviously you have some stuff coming out you always uh you always have your fingers in uh, various pies i always uh, i'll be watching a movie and suddenly j-dog pops up boom there i am um mm-hmm. let's see gilmore girls oh yeah i snuck right in on that one yeah you did right under the wire very excited for that got in on the final three um, I, 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 what, what is it? April something? Yeah. Um, I think probably if you wanted to watch Brooklyn nine, nine, that wouldn't be the worst idea. Oh, me too, by the way. Uh, oh, nice. Yes. I like that. I'll be on Ooh. the season finale. No, I, I will be on the penultimate episode. Oh, but, 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 Jason, you've already appeared on that program. I have. I have. So I'm, they brought your character back. They have indeed. So that is a thing that they can do. They, they can if bring a character, character back. has appeared on the show. <laughs> They could bring the character back if they so choose. So a character sure, yeah. like, uh, have you ever could been be watching? Anything. Have they've you ever been watching be, that could show? Could be a, a captain of a cruise ship. <laughs> Wait, because they, they've, they've brought quite a few characters back. Oh, have they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so it's a common practice. Oh, it's like one of their biggest things is to have a stable of characters that recur mm-hmm. regularly throughout the season. What about a character who hasn't been on the show yet? Could they have one of them on? <laughs> sure. <laughs> like a new character? Like, like a, a new, like completely a new guy. character. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, do they have any, Like you know, tall, skinny. I'm willing to play anything. I'll play a fat janitor, a fat, uh, you know, I'll play Scully, S- Sully son or whatever yep. his name is. Or Sully son, son from the yeah, movie from Sully. The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they the, should do the Scully ex- and Sully. I'd love to see Tom Hanks and Jillian. <laughs> Anderson in something together. Oh, man. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing that. <laughs> the, those two teaming it's, up. It's an X-Files episode where Scully is like, I don't think you really landed that plane. <laughs> yeah, like a ghost took over him. <laughs> and that's how he was able that's to do it. Oh, so they're not partners. <laughs> no, the one is no, investigating the yeah. X-Files yeah. is an episode about the Sully landing. It's like landing. a Frost v. Nixon. Because they get to the plane and what they realize is every the plane is from the past because everybody's wearing tuxedos, smoking cigarettes, <laughs> and there's helium balloons everywhere. But like Batman v Superman, they team up at the end. Oh, they what like a good movie. Their differences. What yeah. a good movie. Oh, do you think it turns out that Sully and Scully, both their mothers have the same first name? <laughs> yes. Oh, that would be amazing. Only, the only thing that could stop a fight. Wait, why did you say <laughs> Esther? <laughs> Esther. <laughs> All right, uh, Gino, what are you plugging here? Um, I've been listening. I've been doing a lot of driving lately, so I've been oh, listening yeah. to a lot of these uh, to. the DVR radio things that you guys do here. Sure. Uh, and there's one in particular I like. It's called Not High, high and Mighty. It is High and Mighty. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> you know, there's only... I would love to be plugging TV shows, uh, but, you know, it's been slow, and uh, we're giving diverse people a chance this pilot season. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> a lot of people missed out on the white privilege window. <laughs> yeah. I was the last talk show host yeah. about it. <laughs> Where were you, like, five, six years ago, Gina? Oh, trying. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, check out High and Mighty. It's a podcast. It's great. Also, um, I'm a big fan of How Did This Get Made and Hollywood Handbook to keep it in mm-hmm. the family a little bit. Nice. Yeah. I would also like to promote uh, 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 How Did This Get Made. Okay, sure. <laughs> Hosted by Paul Shear. Sure. Mm-hmm. And June Diane Raphael and myself, Jason Manzukas. Well, but he's really the host. Say, I might be the only person who hosts two different Earwolf podcasts <laughs> nope. concurrently. Nope. Uh, I, first of all, I have you talking you two to me. Does Ooh. that still exist? Sure. When's the last time you did an app? A couple years ago, but you never know. Yeah, so that's that's DOA. Interesting. ALW and Sondheim have the same birthday, which is two titans in the industry. <laughs> and then my favorite comedian, John Gabris, and Paul Shear, the host of How This Get Made, have the same birthday. So really? it's like, if so you're there very good at something. Wow. What is, that? When is what that? Is that day? That is January 31st. Oh, too yeah. late. I don't know why I know my favorite comedian's birthdays. It's yeah, just it's a little creepy. <laughs> why not? I like to tweet at them and say, happy birthday, I love you. What's your birthday? <laughs> My birthday? Yeah. Uh, April 20th, 1991. 420? <laughs> yeah, 420. So uh, it was, I think it was a couple of years before Columbine. Um, I remember my birthday party was interrupted by, because uh, we were watching cable news for my birthday party. <laughs> sure. That okay. was the party? <laughs> yeah, my family had all my friends over to watch cable news and then uh, kind of Because it was so new? Because it was a big thing and it was like, yeah. this is definitely going to be on. Yeah. You right. know, and it was like when we used to watch MTV when it first sure. came out. Right, right. Like, wow. So we were watching cable news. Well, and your generation was the generation of, I want my cable news. Yes, right. right. I want my CNN. <laughs> we would have like a- award shows where Spider Man would kiss a girl and we'd get a CNN award. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is this still plugs? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Plug something. Well, I'd like to plug another podcast called It's It's a Whimsical Name. 
Spontaneation. <laughs> Scott Rick, I believe it comes out the very same day as your show. Oh, so it's out today. On the It is out today. Oh, amazing. Why am I here? I don't know. You instead of listening I to that? I should be listening to that. You can do both. It's, it's probably to. only an hour, and this is an hour and a half. Or yeah, so. I'm listening I to suppose. a different podcast in my headphones. Yeah. What? You are? Which, <laughs> oh, so am I. Which ones? I'm listening to 99% Invisible in my cans. <laughs> what? Yeah, or I'm listening to Reply All in mine. Oh, also, <clears throat> people should look forward to uh, one of my favorite television programs, spelled P-R-O-G-R-A-M-M-E. Yes. Uh, M-M-E? Do you like M-M-E? I love it. Oh, wow, really? I love M-M-E. <laughs> I love MDMA. Oh, I love <laughs> MMA. Um, what else? What M A G A. I love M A G A. I love them all. Oh wow! Bajillion dollar properties. Oh uh, yes. Watch bajillion dollar properties on the CISO streaming platform. I believe season three will be coming out in uh, about a month or so. I believe that's true. And if you live in the New York area, mm -hmm. uh, November. 12th, November 11th and 12th at the Bell House in Brooklyn. Mm. I understand there's live entertainment that's happening. My goodness. Something called Super Ego and the aforementioned Spontaneous Nation doing live like programs. Quite a uh, a night or a, a concurrent It's a weekend, a week, dear quite boy. a weekend at the theater. A weekend. Hmm. Well, theater after a fashion. <laughs> sure. Folding chairs. I'm so Will sorry. I don't mean come, to impugn theater. Will people come dressed as their favorite characters from the shows? I think they should. <laughs> I mean, it'll be so quickly after Halloween <laughs> that they will probably keep their costumes. They should let these costumes do double duty. <laughs> yes. Someone's well, phone ringing? No. Nope. I do not you, hear are you. Okay? Because, oh, are you all right? Uh -oh. oh my gosh. I, uh, His eyes are I don't feel back. so good. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me get my plugs out. Uh, speaking of New York, uh, we're going to be doing a live comedy bang bang out at uh, Vulture Fest on May 20th. So uh, coming up. So uh, come on out for that. And uh, I, uh, I'll be on the uh, season finale of Brooklyn Nine Nine uh, in May along with uh, the uh, my former girlfriend whom I married uh, and Eugene Cordero. We all have a scene together. That's fun. Mm -hmm. And and uh, let's see, anything else I want to plug? Nah, fuck it. Oh, bajillion dollar properties in a month. Yep. All right, let's close up the old plug bag. Uh, I'm talking about bags and bags. I'm talking about bags, opening bags. bags, 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 bags I'm talking bags, about bags, bags and bags. bags I'm talking bags, about bags, opening bags. I'm talking about bags and bags. I'm talking about opening bags. I'm talking about bags and bags. I'm talking about opening bags. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. So fun. The Jinx. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, Going out on a low note. Yeah. All right. Uh, Jason, Gino, Lord Weber, thank you so much for being here. Always thank a pleasure you, to see you. Uh, um, stick around for the uh, our eighth anniversary uh, next uh, week, coming I up believe. Next. So, <laughs> <laughs> same. Stay right where you stick are. Stick around. Just <laughs> change that channel. Yep, just keep playing this, and eventually you'll get there. All right. We'll see Every you next time. Every podcast turns into the next one. All right. Thanks. And bye. Fade out. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for listening. And remember, when you're trying to get from point A to point B, oftentimes all of your energy is spent on simply making it to your destination. So Delta offers every type of entertainment for every passenger free with Delta Studio. 1,000 hours of entertainment, all from your seat back or your own device, 100% free. Choose from podcasts, games, TV, and up to 300 movies. Even get access to HBO, Showtime, and 18 channels of live satellite TV on select flights. And it is all streamable on your laptop, iPhone, iPad, or Android tablet device via the GoGo Entertainment app. So buckle up, relax, and delve into another world as you soar above with endless entertainment. From Delta Studio, your journey is sure to fly by. This has been an Earwolf production, executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolf.